It was going to be pretty big shoes to fill at the running back position for the Slaters after losing their workhorse in Kale Gonshock, who rushed for over 1,300 yards and 19 scores. But Noah Hills seemed pretty up to the task. Hills found success on the ground with 119 yards on 15 carries and two scores. His longest, a 33-yard jaunt to the end zone in putting Banger on the scoreboard first. A missed PAT, though, would make it 6-0 in the first quarter. We all knew what Eric Striba could do on the ground, but hoped to take his arm to the next level this year. And this 44-yard toss to Tommy Alissi set things up nicely for Striba to then take it in from 21 yards out, putting the Slaters up 14-zip after a two-point conversion midway through the second. Palisades would be denied on their first three drives, but decided to go for it on a fourth and 15. Malachi Stianson throws the Hail Mary to the end zone in the final 49 seconds of the half and will connect with Greg Borgensen to make it just a one-score game at the halftime break. The Slaters were able to control things, though, in the second half. Striba finds a wide-open Greg Campbell for a 33-yard touchdown pass to make it 21-7 early in the third quarter. Striba went 8 for 10, 169 yards passing and a touchdown. Hill's second TD run came in the fourth to seal it for the Slaters as they would take it in a 27-7 final score. We're feeling happy but not satisfied. Like... You know, the Palisades, don't get me wrong, very good team. You know, they came out with a lot of heart. They came, they came here to punch down our throat immediately, you know, you know, and we respect that. You know, but we know we're a better team. You know, we didn't have such a good week at practice last week. I don't know what it was, if it was just practice in the afternoon, but it was a bad week of practice. So, you know, we're looking to really, like, push it next week, get better, and, you know, hopefully the mistakes we have tonight aren't, you know, you know, happen in the next game. So It might not be the first thing you think about correcting, but for the Slaters, a good couple days of practice will be crucial in making some of those minor adjustments in order to be ready for Jim Thorpe in an already shorter week. I think we have to be more physical and throughout the whole week at practice. Everyone has to be ready because it's short week Thursday. We got to get after it tomorrow morning. Everyone's got to be there and focus, so that's the biggest thing. On the scene in Bangor, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.